Hi everyone, happy Friday. So glad you could join us. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart Paint Party, live from Cleveland, Ohio. Thank you so much for joining me. Joe is behind the scenes. Joe's my nephew and he will be corresponding with you if you're in the chat and wanna, you can talk to each other or you can uh, ask Joe a question if you need to. But usually the people who have been here from the beginning can answer any questions that you have if you're new. Usually, what age is this for? What supplies do I need? What are we doing? What's going on? So uh, anyway, I'm so glad you could join us. We'd like to have fun. Thank you. Once again, yesterday we had the Greater Cleveland Aquarium join us, which was awesome. They broadcast live from there and shared with us some information on a special exhibit they have, which is about rainbow fish. And you guys sent me awesome artwork from yesterday of the rainbow fish, which we're going to show later. I want to just jump right in right now and do a sloppy copy of our flamingo. So I'll do a practice. I'm just using computer paper. I'm going to use a black marker so you can see it on the screen. You use whatever you have, pencil, pen, uh, color pencils, crayons, magic marker, highlighter, a pink highlighter for this flamingo would be awesome. You can use any supplies that you have. So again, I'm just going to start on this paper and you can practice along with me. So let's start with his beak. The flamingo has a pretty big beak and a round head. And it's slightly challenging to draw from the side, but I'm going to do my best. I'm going to swirl this around like that. That's going to be his wing or her wing. One day we did a practice flamingo and we didn't actually do the full blown painting. And then one of our guests, our family in Jamaica that join us quite often, they named this, this is actually on my deck and I usually have a planter in here. Oh, I shouldn't play with it because it's wobbly. Uh, but it's really fun, and they named it Fabrizio. So my flamingo is Fabrizio, but I highly recommend you guys come up with a name for your flamingo. I thought so. Every time I see my flamingo, I think of Fabrizio. It's just fun to name your what creations. You don't have to, and then you can create a story about them. And you could do the whole leg if you want to. That would be, again, up to you. And I'm going to put the practice one over here for right now. Well, I don't want to bump that off there. You guys got it? Should I leave it here? Joe, do you want to show them? I have some photos of some flamingos that Joe can show you just to give you an idea. So there's a flock of flamingos in the water. There's another one that's, look at that neck. Is that amazing? I wish my neck, well, I don't know if that would be very attractive, but it's very cool. And look at the reflection in the water. And then there's another one. They almost form a heart with their necks. Thanks, Joe. I don't know. Oh, there's another one. Bunch of flamingos. Oh my gosh. So flamingos love water. They usually hang out in the water in tropical places, not on Lake Erie, Cleveland, Ohio, I wish. And uh, what's an interesting fact about the flamingos is that, what makes them pinkish and orangish is they eat algae, a lot of algae, and it's there's beta carotene in it, and that's what gives the color to their feathers, which is amazing. So um, beta carotene is something that you would find in carrots, let's say, but they eat a lot of algae. So there you go. So again, this is our sloppy copy. You can have it be your good one if you want to. I'm gonna do my good Flamingo on canvas, and if you don't have canvas, use whatever you have. It could be a cardboard box, it could be tag board, paper, whatever it is. If you're using watercolor paint, maybe you outline it all first with a crayon and then color it in with watercolor paint or crayon or color pencil. I'm going to do the same thing that I just did on the canvas. My canvas is 16 by 20, and I've been telling people who want to order supplies to get the panels. They're canvas, but they're flat. That way it doesn't take up a lot of room. So you get a pack of them, whether it's Michael's or Amazon, wherever you, you know, just Google canvas panels and then order a pack of them and it won't take up that much room. All right, let's start again with our flamingo.
I was trying to find songs about flamingos and I really didn't have a whole lot of luck. I like to play songs. I like to play your Alexa if you have an Alexa. So, um, we could play a beachy song. We could play, uh, Alexa, play Surfing USA by Beach Boys. Let's see if it works. Let us know if your Alexa goes off. Because I couldn't find, I did find Free Bird by Leonard Skinner. That's really slow and it's about a bird. Cause I'm as free as a bird now. See, you really don't want to hear me sing. I'd much rather draw. But I love to listen to music while I'm creating cause it relaxes me. And I'm not allowed to play music on here cause of the copyright. My canvas is 16 by 20. And just think the bigger it is, the I think the easier it is. So the smaller canvases, you just have to have better uh, fine motor skills. So I just find it simpler to create large. But again, a lot of it has to do with convenience and space that you have. So get whatever supplies that you feel are, work for you. And then here's the horizon. So we're gonna do a horizontal line. You want to use a ruler go ahead you could do a cool palm tree you don't have to you could do the sun you could do a rainbow my rainbow fish from yesterday is hanging on the door behind me so while you guys catch up because i know you're like you're going too fast slow down Joe, why don't you put up some drawings from yesterday? So, again, they were amazing drawings. Thanks for joining us. Watercolor paint with a black outline. Love it. Love it. Bubbles. Look at that texture in the water. Thank you. That looks great. Oh, we lost them. That was digital art. That's awesome. Thank you, Joe. So, you know, you guys, here's what you do. You can, if you're on Facebook, you can check in and post your picture that way. You can tag me at Artist at Heart Paint Party. Some people find me under Denise Lipka, which is fine also. And you can message me. You can email me. Go to artistatheart.org. If you go to my website, you are going to see all of my photos from all of my events from past. And you're going to see photos from what we're do we've been doing here for six weeks. So if you go to the tab that says... Uh, paintings, you'll see a bunch of photos from the last six weeks. We started this, you guys, on March 16th. This is the end of our sixth week, which is amazing. I just can't believe it. So um, you can, on my website, you're going to see, you know, my YouTube, my Instagram. You're going to see all of those and my email and just click it and then email me photos. That way I can post them and then we can put them on the show as well. So those are all the different ways you can contact me. Get me your photos and I'll put them up on Tomorrow shows tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be live at noon. I'm not going to do Saturdays after tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be my last Saturday. I've been doing uh, Zoom parties, so you guys know all my jobs have been postponed or canceled. So what I started doing was uh, $75 for a Zoom party, and you get to pick whoever you want to join the Zoom party. It could be your friends, your family, your classmates. I'm doing a staff party on Monday with one of the schools, and you get to pick the painting and create the Zoom party and invite as many people as you want to. And then I would do just like I'm doing now. You guys would follow along with whatever supplies you have. And just contact me and pick a date and a time. I'm very, You guys, the only time I'm not open is when we're doing this class. So this Saturday, tomorrow, I'll post this when we're done. We're going to do this artwork. And then I'm still, starting next week, I'm still going to go Monday through Friday. But I just won't do Saturdays anymore. I'll be available, though, for Zoom parties. All right, so let's just jump right in and paint our flamingos. Now, 
you can do any colors you want. If you want, since that beta carotene makes the flamingo a little orangey, you can add a little orange to it. You can do it pink. You do magenta. You can make your flamingo any color you want, okay? So I'm just going to jump right in here. I'm going to do my pinks. So to make pink, if you don't have pink, you use red and you add some white into it. And let's start with this cool neck. Just paint them all in. I scooped up some red and some white. I like to see the brush strokes. I like showing you guys the pictures from the day before because that way you can see all of the supplies that everyone's using. Everyone wants to know the supply list, but I say use whatever you have. If you, I wish I could do digital art like that. I thought that was so cool. I don't know how to do that. And again, you can go back on my Facebook page. She put the program that she used to make that on. So if you're interested in trying that, just look from yesterday's posts. Did your Alexa go off? Did it play that fun song? Think of, I can't think of that other beach ball. Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I wanna take ya. Holla, Florida Keys. Think of fun songs and tell Joe to put up the banner so I can read it. Joe, if they come up with a good, you know, song about a flamingo or something tropical, something bird related. I know there was another one. How, I mean, but it's not really a flamingo song. Alexa, play Like a Bird by Nelly Furtada. I'm like a bird. I want to be a flamingo. So flamingos do fly even though you often don't see them flying usually they're standing around if they do fly they tend to fly at night but they often don't fly because they're content where they are as long as they have food and there's no predator around trying to get them they're very content just hanging out eating their algae But they can fly in a night about 350 miles. So they can fly. I remember when we took the kids to the zoo and they asked how come the flamingos at the zoo don't fly. And uh, a lot of zoos clip the wings so that they're not able to fly around at the zoo, of course. You don't want the flamingo to fly into the lion's den. And again, you can make it as light or as bright as you want to. So I can make it, you know, just a little bit more, so it's not so flat looking, dimensional. All right, that's pretty, how about a little highlight? A highlight would be where the light hits it so it would be whiter. So let's make it a little bit whiter top. And I, I have gone out of the line, but that's okay because I can paint over it. And if you don't like it, you do it again, right? And you do it again, and you do it again, and you do it again. Someone quoted me yesterday saying that, and I thought it was very funny, so thank you. And then somebody else sent me a picture. I have to get this T-shirt. Joe, I sent you a picture of a T-shirt. I want you guys to try to figure it out. They sent it to me and said I needed to get this. All right, you guys, look at that. I know it's tiny, but read it. What does it say? And tell me what it means. Okay, Joe, thanks. What's that mean? And if you're a regular viewer, you know what I say quite often. And someone saw that T-shirt and said, you need to have that T-shirt. So... I want to see if you guys can figure it out. I know you can. I'm just checking. I'm just checking for my regulars who watch all the time. See if you're paying attention. Okay, so let's just, uh, let's jump, jump to the sky. So my sky is going to be light blue. And if you notice on mine, 
It's a little bit bluer at the top, and then I add more white as I work my way down to the water. You don't have to, you can make it a flat blue. And if you're using crayon, just do it blue, and then as you start to go down, and I'm, I'm gonna just paint right through my leaves. Because I can still see the permanent marker through it. I know you probably can't, but I can. And even if I couldn't, I could just add them later. And I like to see the brush strokes because I think that's what makes it interesting. Oh, I got blue on my sleeve. I'm telling you, every piece of clothing that I have is going to have paint on it. It's going to be part of my new wardrobe. Painted shirts. But I wanted to match my flamingo. See how quiet it gets? Some people really like, the, I actually like the quiet, but I wish I could have a little bit of music. I know you guys love me singing. Hoping the weather stays nice, it's a little cloudy, but it did get a little warm. Last Friday it was snowing, it snowed a few times this week here in Cleveland. I'm hoping that was it. I love to go outside and paint on my deck. If you guys, we, we've been observing nature and watching things come up. And we know the daffodils and the tulips are coming up. All right, so just so I don't get paint on my sleeve, I'm just gonna flip this around. So my flamingo is gonna stand on his head for a minute, okay? So if someone joins us late, they could say, why is the flamingo standing on his head? It's just easier for me to flip it over. Someone contacted me yesterday to do a private party in person uh, in the beginning of May. But I am not gonna do private parties in person until they lift the social distancing in Ohio, which I'm not sure when that's gonna be. So again, I, I will absolutely do Zoom parties. And I'll do private parties once they lift it. I'll wear my mask. All right, I'll flip him back over. He's getting a headache. He can only stand on his head so long. And then, so I used uh, like a turquoise greenish blue for the water. So if you don't have that, you could mix some green and blue together. Again, if you're using crayons or colored pencils, you can blend them together right on your paper. But I'm gonna actually jump down to my sand while my water dries. So I'm gonna use a brown and a white. If you don't have a brown, you can mix a bunch of colors together. If you actually mix, believe it or not, a bunch of colors together, you get a brown. So whatever colors you have, blend them, and you're going to get a, a brown. If it's too dark of a brown, add some white to it. If it's too purpley looking, add some yellow or orange to it. You can make your sand yellow. You don't have to have sand at all. So I like to do them a little bit different. So this brown, this sand color is a little bit browner than the other one. And again, I can just go right through the legs so I don't waste time going around them, but you guys can paint around and you don't have to keep up with me. Take your time. 
It is recorded. Even though we're live right now, it is recorded. So you guys can watch this on YouTube or Facebook. Artist at Her Paint Party. Ooh. And maybe I'll put a little bit of white in there, just a little bit more since I have, you know, the value in the sky and in the flamingo. So that just a little bit of, see how it goes together. And then this one is gonna be that turquoise color. So again, take some blue, add some green to it if you have it. If you don't have green, take some blue and add some yellow to it. Crayola also makes a fantastic tempera paint. It just uh, comes in a bottle called Crayola Tempera Paint. And you shake it up and the colors are really great and it's washable. I use acrylic, which is washable while it's wet. And like my shirt, look at my shirt. But I'll, if I wash it today, it'll come out, but a lot of times I forget. When we're done here, I'll keep painting, I'll clean, I'll wash out my brushes. And before you know it, I'm watching Netflix and then I forget to wash my shirt. That's usually how my day goes. I don't know if you guys know who Michael Simon is, but there's a he's a chef from Cleveland. He has a restaurant here, and he but he's pretty famous, and he has a show on the Food Network, and he's been going live every day making different dinners at 5 o'clock, and I just get hooked. He's been making – he makes it look so easy, okay? Really. And you guys – some people tell me that about art. So, But I do it all the time, and I think cooking is the same way. Michael Simon cooks all the time. So he makes it look so easy because he, one, is good at it, and two, he does it all the time. So again, I think, okay, well, if I cook all the time, then I'm going to get better at it. But he's making homemade cavadal, and uh, yesterday he was smoking something on the grill. He was smoking, is it steak? I can't remember. Brisket? But then it makes me really hungry, okay? And what do I end up doing then? I end up going to get some peanut butter. <laughs> So I'm really, I'm watching Michael Simon cook some beautiful meals and then I go get my peanut butter. And what do I do? All right, so peanut butter. You can make peanut butter and jelly. You can put peanut butter on crackers. You could add peanut butter to an apple. <laughs> There's lots of things you could do with peanut butter. Am I getting you hungry? It is lunchtime, right? You could put peanut butter on ice cream. You could have a peanut butter milkshake. Peanut butter cake, peanut butter cupcakes. Oh my gosh, stop it, stop it, stop it. I told the story on here one day. I'll tell it again if you are new. When I was a little kid, they couldn't find me. My mom and my sisters were panicking, looking for me. They had the whole neighborhood looking for me. And finally, someone heard something in the house and they opened the closet door and I was sitting at the bottom of the closet with a jar of peanut butter and a spoon, hiding, eating the peanut butter. I've always been a fan of peanut butter. I guess, you know, my mom just didn't want me to sit around and eat the whole jar, so I had to sneak it. But I still love peanut butter. And if you don't have anything, you know, you could eat it out of the jar. Well, don't do that. Again, it's not a good, it's not a good habit. It's just such a versatile food. So, anyway, if you want to watch Michael Simon, he's on every day live. Um, I watch him on Facebook Live. He's really very good, and he's all about just like the art we do. He's the same way. He's like, okay, use what you have. Use what you have in your house. All right, let's do our little palm leaves up top. Peanut butter cookies. Did I say peanut butter cookies? Okay, I told you guys I had to lay off the cookies. 
Some days I feel like Cookie Monster. Cookie! One day we should do some artwork of cookies. We'll do one day. We'll do monsters cookies. Make me think of Cookie Monster. And I would think of monsters. Create your own monster. Give it a name. We do a dinosaur. Outer space. I have lots of ideas. Lots of ideas to get us through May. There's my palm tree I'm gonna have in my yard one day when I live in a tropical place. There you go. And then we need he needs the black, right? So I usually try to save black for the end, but a lot of people love to start with black. They love to outline everything with black. A lot of times when I do a paint party in person, I don't even give them the black till the end. And they're like, where's my black? But one, it usually gets into all the other colors if you're using paint. And two, people like to outline first and then all that black gets into the colors. So right now it's really, really bright, but watch what's gonna happen when I start outlining it. I'm gonna take some black paint. Let's do his eyeball. I'll leave a little circle in the middle white. Take your time. Okay, you do not have to keep up with me. And then this part's gonna be black. You guys can do the wing, if you wanna do the wing. I didn't do the wing on that one. I mean, I didn't outline it in black, it's just a deeper color, but I'll do it on here so you can see it. Actually, I'll do the whole, I know it's harder to see on the screen, so I'll just bring that black line up into his neck. And if I don't like it, I'll let it dry and then I'll paint over it later. And then we have his legs. You could put that little pink notch in there to make that little space where his legs go into if you want to. So I like it better without the black line. I think it looks better without the black line. So what I'm gonna do is, where I was gonna outline it, I'm just gonna take some of that deeper magenta red color, and then I'm gonna go back into down here so you can see it better. Make it look feathery, wispy. Wisp out that tail. Put some white in there for that highlight. Pressure's coming. So I love when you guys come on the screen. Make sure you turn your volume down, but don't mute it.
you can, if you didn't get a chance to show us your rainbow fish, if you made the rainbow fish yesterday, you want to show us, that would be great. I'm going to paint over this. I don't like it. I don't like that black line. Now, because I'm using acrylic paint, it dries pretty fast. So you might have to wait, depending on how thick it is or the temperature or humidity level. When it's really humid, it takes a longer time to dry. When it's not so humid, it dries pretty quick. Oops, that part is not dry, so now I have a big black, but that's okay. So many times, no one knows your mistakes but you and who you tell, so I just told you guys. People are like, oh, that looks cool. Well, it's a big mistake, but that's okay. We're going with it, right? Because we go with the flow. Go with the flow. A happy little accident. Don't <gasps> Alexa, play, don't worry, be happy. Do, 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 do. Oh, do, do, do. do you know that song? Here's a little song I wrote. You don't have to sing it. No, for no, so don't worry. Be happy. Oh, yeah, we played that. Remember, we were saying, don't worry, be happy for Easter. We were playing that. Don't worry, be happy now. Do, do. And you can put, like, little dots on the sand. You can put a little sand pail bucket. You can put some seashells on the seashore. You could put a little crab down there like Sebastian from Little Mermaid. You could put a sunset in the background. Think outside the box. That was, I didn't give you guys the answer, the shirt, the black shirt, and it said think with the box, the square. It's think outside the box, remember? That's one of the things I love to say, think outside the box, which you guys are doing an amazing job. So you, but if you've been watching, hopefully you got that t-shirt and I'm, I mean, I'm going to order that t-shirt, but hopefully you understood it. So I thought that was just awesome. So if you guys want to come on, all you have to do is Joe's going to put up a link that says StreamYard and you click the link and it brings you into the waiting room. The waiting room is where you're going to wait until Joe brings you on the screen. So you have to pay attention to the screen and just, you know, tell us, you can tell us how old you are, where you're from, and you can show us where you're at today. Or if you just, a lot of people join late and haven't had a chance to catch up, which is fine. You can show us something that you did in the past. Or if you've been doing it all along, you can show us how far you are. You do not have to be done. I know I go quick. And because, you know, again, you can pause it. You can rewind it you can re it's all recorded so you could just rewatch it on youtube on uh, youtube is artist at heart paint party and what's really nice about the youtube is they're all right in a row when you go to the facebook page you see everything else on top of the videos i mean you see the videos but you also see the other stuff again i think it's also awesome that you can see other artwork because it's inspiring so whenever joe's ready to put up that link I'm going to make my palm tree a little bigger. It's, I'm going to pull just a little bit of it. Hi. Um, it's Laura. Um, and this is my artwork so far. I took off the legs for a little because I just want to like get the basic shape of the flamingo down. So I can just add the details like slightly later. That's um, great. There's a song called Flamingo. I don't know. I I don't really know how to pronounce who it's by. It's just called Flamingo? Yes. Alexa, play Flamingo. Do you have an Alexa? Tell me if it goes off. It just went on. Oh good. Thanks, Gabriella. You're welcome. Oh, bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. This is mine. That looks great. I'm not finished yet, but I'm working on it. And I'm from Troy, Ohio. Yay, Ohio! Thank you, Emery. Bye. Bye. Hi, Danny. Oh, Danny, what do you have? What is that? How are you, Danny? Good, I love that. I love your flamingo. This is Vadiza Flamingo, and this is 
stop JJ out that flamingo. That looked great. Okay. See Thank you. you. Thank you. On Monday, Denise. Bye, Danny. Thank Bye, you. Denise. Thanks. Thank you. Hi. This is Bye, Danny. Thank Bye. you. This is mine. I didn't have a green and I didn't know Thank what you. colors, Bye. so I filled it in with yellow. This is I have a question. Have you ever done a dolphin? I didn't have a green and I didn't know you what colors. colors. So I, 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 I can't hear you. This you is hear your body again? Have you ever done a dolphin? Can you say that again? I'm sorry. Yeah. So when you come on, just so you know, just turn your volume down and you won't hear all the echoing, okay? Okay. You just did it. That's perfect. Uh, I have not done a dolphin, so we will definitely do a dolphin one day. Yeah. Dolphins are one of my favorite animals. I can make the noise. Yeah, we will. <laughs> yeah. We'll do that. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Ava. Hi, hi. So I'm Ava Turk from Elmhurst, Illinois. I'm 10 years old. And so far, all right, I'm not done with it yet. I still have to do the sand and the flamingo. But so far, this is what I have. And I've been with you since St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Just thank you for doing this. Like, a bunch of my friends are loving it. And I'm, I've had it to my schedule. And I'm really disappointed if I have to miss it. Are you and also, one her? question. What? So, how do you get your videos onto YouTube? Do you know? Uh, so, I, I StreamYard, you know that StreamYard where you guys come on? It's a program that I actually pay for. And StreamYard is able to link YouTube and Facebook so I can go live together. So, that's okay. about Thank all you. I know. You're welcome. Thanks, Ava. Thank you. Hi, Isabella. Hi. Um. So you see that mine's a little bit different than yours because I got because I accidentally did mine a little too high, so I put like a little bush in the background there, and I'm gonna make grass covering the legs so it looks like it's standing in the water. I love it. That's great. Thank you. And no one knows it's a mistake but you and me. Shh. <laughs> Have a nice day of your day. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. You too. Thanks, Isabella. Hello. Hi, Cora. This is my picture. I'm gonna cut all the way to, all the way around it. But let me some paper. So because I'm not cutting to the light, the lines. But I made my flamingo and I made a green eye. Oh, I like it. <laughs> but yeah. and and this. And I'm gonna cut out, and then I'm gonna, and then, and then I'm gonna tell my mom to sing it up. Nice. And then this is mine. Oh, oh hold on. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Ivan from Sharpsville, PA, and I decided that this is like gonna be like a drawing, and then I'm going to build with my Legos, uh, this exact thing. Will you send me a picture? What? Will you send me a picture of it? Oh, yes, I will. That's awesome. I love and it. I'm going to make... Uh, thank you. I'm going to make one out of Legos, too. Okay, you guys send me pictures. All right, we will. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Hi. Hi. This is mine. Look great. Thank you. Thanks for showing us. This is mine. It got smudged because I put too much paint on it. You can I didn't over. know, but I thought I could make cookies. I love that. If I, if I, wait, um, if I can do this. I can do this with a vacuum in. Um, so I did mine a little different, but I still did flamingos. Oh, did this. That's great. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Liana.
and Leanna, and this is mine. So for very nice. Love it. Thank you. And this is my stuffed animal. Aw, don't get them dirty. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Very nice. And I use these like wet watercolor. Love it. Thank you. Brush tips. I love your t-shirt. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. Hi. Hi. This is my art so far. That looks great. And you're using grid paper. That's very cool. I love it. Thank you. I love grid paper. I used to use that all the time. Hi, Charlotte and Violet. Hi. Thank you for doing this and seeing my full photo. Not completely bad yet. Oh, that looks great. Take your time. This is my photo. Very nice. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you. Watch it. Right. Bye, guys, gals. <laughs> Hi. This is mine. The white paint kind of smudged it a little. Okay, that's okay. It looks good. Yeah. And for the river, I just use like my light, light green and um, a white. And I think that t shirt was Think Outside the Box because it had a box and think. So You're I right. think that's, that's exactly what it was. Do you want to say hi, Sissy? It's all right. So thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. And I can't Bye. wait for the private party. Awesome. I'm me too. I'm excited. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. And um, a oh, hi. And I think hi. This is my painting so far. Because it had a book. And I did it on the same piece of wood that I did my paint for sure. I love it. That's very creative. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's smart. Hi. Hi. Hey, my name is Naomi. My name is Naomi. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for doing it with me. Thank you so far. You got a cool shirt on. Oh, I missed it. Her shirt said sparkle. I love that. Hi. You went a whole different route and did a whole different color. That's so cool. Hey, Brooke. Uh, Brooke, we can't hear you, honey. I think that's a, a blue flamingo there. So, Brooke, you can, when, when we go off the screen, check your computer because the sound isn't on. Just like yesterday when we had the aquarium on, they, there was a setting on their computer that they had to change so they could hear it. But you can come back on, just check your settings for the sound. Thank you, Brooke. Hi, Reagan. Hi, um, I'm Reagan from Florida and this is my painting so far. Um, it's still drying so I can do the flamingo on it, but I have a flamingo on my shirt. I love it, and that is one bright flamingo, right? That is, it's like neon, I love it. Don't get it dirty, oh my gosh. I would cry if I got that shirt dirty. So, hi, Sage, Cora, Natasha. This is mine. I love it, you added her. This is mine. There are leaves and leaves up there and there are hearts over there. Aw, that's so nice. And this is mine. Very nice. You guys are doing a great job. Okay. And then this is mine. And on the back, there's a coded message that says, and upside down, there's the answer. It says, my flamingo. Oh, very nice. Thanks so much for sharing. Emma Bella, hi girls. This is my beautiful flamingo. I like that eye. Wow. And this is his child. Oh, that's so cute. Hi. Oh, you guys both have little baby flamingos. Mine. And me. And that's the baby of mine. 
So, so they are naturally born gray because they haven't eaten any of the shrimp or algae and they haven't gotten the keratin in them yet. Mm -hmm. Good to know. I'm going to put a baby gray one on mine. So thank you for inspiring me. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. girls. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm going to put a baby gray one on there. Hi. Hi. This is mine. That looks great. And then I did a different, I did another painting too. I did like the solar system. I'm still working on it. Oh, I love it. One day we're going to do the solar system because I think outer space is super cool. Could add a rock yeah. on there. Thanks so much. Thank you. Hi. Hi, I'm Kylie. Oh, very nice. And this is mine. Very nice. You guys take your time. They look fantastic. Thank you. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Hi. Hi, Mia. Hi. Um, so this is my painting so far. I'm not wow. quite done yet. And actually, the sand wasn't supposed to be that color. But I actually kind of like it now because it's different. <laughs> so, it's very yeah. different. Mm -hmm. And you know what? And so I did, go ahead. And I didn't um, actually have enough blue paint. So instead, uh, I did the light, the water kind of green. It's and then just did sky blue. Thank so you for doing that. And again, no one knows that you didn't. That color it's beautiful. It looks great. So thank, <laughs> thank you. Bye. I love that. Hi. Um, I forgot to show you this. One of my favorite YouTubers made this drawing. Oh wait, no. Now he's upside down. And it took. A, I did this yesterday. It took a really long time, but I wanted to show it to you. It's really cool. What did you do it on? What is it? Mr. It's a plate. It's a plate. Oh my gosh. Very cool. That's awesome. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, Brooke. Hi. Oh, now I can hear you. What'd you do? Um, what'd you, what'd you so say? I made the flamingo blue and the sky pink. Um, I'm from Dover, Delaware, and I really like your show. Thanks, Brooke. And thank you for figuring out the sound. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> We're glad we could hear you. And I love that you changed it up. So it looks really cool. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hello. Um, you you mine so far? Yeah. I put a top hat on it and some flying in the background. I love it. A little baby one. And um, I have a stuffed animal flamingo. Oh, that's so cute. And um, my cousins are doing it again today, and um, I wanted to say hi to them. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't get that. Bye-bye. Thanks, Reagan. Hi, Reagan. I'm Janie. I'm from Maryland. Um, this is my painting. Wow. That looks great. Thank you. Thanks for joining me. Hi, Liam. Hi, this is mine. I like to use oil pastels. There, I use them a lot. And this is mine. I love it. And I, you know what? I love oil pastels too. Do you have colored construction paper? They look awesome on colored construction paper too. Yeah. And oh. that black thing is a dolphin. Oh, nice. Oh, the water. Yeah, that's great. Thank Thanks, you. Liam. Oh, oops, he got cut off. Hi. This is my finished project. It looks really nice. Where are you from? Georgia. Georgia. Oh, people are going out in public today. Are you guys stay safe? Yeah, that's great. Bye, guys. Bye. Sorry, Liam, we didn't mean to cut you off. If you want to come back on, Liam, and sh finish telling us what you were talking about. 
but we love your black dolphin and I love those oil pastels. Those look awesome. If you were trying to get on the, the link and you couldn't get on, it only allows so many people in the waiting room at one time. So if you want to try now, go ahead. We have a few more minutes. And again, all those ideas. So you're allowed to be inspired by other people. I'm going to add a little baby gray flamingo to my flamingo. I had no idea that they were born gray, which is another interesting fact. And I think, you know, again, you guys are thinking outside the box, getting creative, doing a blue flamingo with a pink background, creating other colors because you ran out of certain colors. And if you make a mistake, you just let your paint dry and you can paint over it. Or how about doing it on the opposite side? So many things you could do. If your flamingo ended up being too small and you have a bunch of space around it, add more flamingos. Do a flock of flamingos. Make an orange flamingo. Make a rainbow flamingo. Think outside the box, you guys. I mean, there's so many things you could do. Again, add dolphins, add fish, add seashells, whatever you want to add, you do it, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Spread the word. Pay it forward. Send someone your artwork. You know, drop it in the mail. Mail it to a loved one. Hang it on the wall. Hang it on your window of your house. Mm, I'm trying to think of what else you can do. Well, you guys know you're super smart. So once again, thank you for joining me. I will be live tomorrow at noon. Share it with your friends and family. I'll post it next. Katie's going to come on real quick. Go ahead, Joe. Bring on Katie. Um, I want to show you my finished solar system. Ooh, that looks really, really nice. Is that watercolor or tempera? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thank you. All right. So, again, if you guys and Ava wants to, she's, I guess Ava's done eating her peanut butter and jelly. Go ahead, bring on Ava. One more thing. Yeah. Uh, two more things. So, this is my finished product. Um, the flamingos. And so I'd probably name my flamingo looking at it um, Fiona. And my mom informed me that a flock of flamingos is called flamboyant. Really? Is yeah. that real? Yep. Flamboyant? Oh my gosh, I love it. Make your legs on your flamingo a little longer. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, you guys, so until tomorrow, stay safe, be careful, be kind, pay it forward, and I will see you guys, God willing, tomorrow at noon, Saturday. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Bye.